So today I'd like to show you how I turned uh, this type of a ice fishing lure box that uh, is quite messy. Every time you take something out you have to unhook all the trebles and when you're carrying it around the, uh, the lures are banging up against each other and they're chipping each other the paint off and they're making them get old real quick. And turn, take that and instead make something like this something where everything is separated with this nice foam you can hang it and the trebles aren't getting hooked up on each other and you're able to just pull out what you need when you need it put it right back in and uh, it's really super efficient and I've got over 90 I think it was 93 lures I got into this one and there's actually room for more um, I'm also going to show you how I do that on a smaller scale to kind of match the same size as this little Vexlar case. Now I'm starting out with just a basic Plano box. This Plano box you can get at, uh, well just about anywhere, but I got it at Fleet Farm for five dollars. And this smaller one, which is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit tougher, a little bit, it's waterproof, it's better made, was again five dollars at Fleet Farm. But the main thing that you really uh, that, that's going to help you organize this tackle is not the box itself. This is just the container, but the foam that you put inside. And this foam that I'm going to be putting inside <coughs> is called Etha foam. And you can get Etha foam. You can buy it in bulk on the internet. Uh, you can buy it at probably in like a packing store or office supply store or a craft store. Um, but you want to make sure that it's the right stuff because this ether foam is different than just styrofoam where that's going to kind of be too rigid and fall apart or um, insulation foam uh, that's again too rigid as well or the kind of foam that goes in um, to like a ta all weather tactical uh, case or something like that which is actually too soft and doesn't create enough pressure to really hold all those lures in day in and day out where you're taking them in and out. But this ether foam, I got this from just saving this packing foam from different electronics I've gotten over the years. I, I don't like throwing things in the dump that I know aren't going to uh, decompose. And the other part of it is it just, there's some things that you, you're taking out and there's just, you just got a feeling that you're going to be able to use that in some way in the future. In the spirit of reduce, reuse, recycle, this is reusing. I just saved this ether foam and uh, now I've got a really good way to use it that makes an excellent tackle box. And, uh, and I'll show you how I put it together right now. Okay, so this one, I'm looking at the bottom and it's going to overlap, but as like said before, when you squeeze these down, which you want to, it's going to have a nice tight, uh, it'll be nice and tight and pushing that in and so that's going to help with being able to put lures in there. So I'm going to leave it the width, but I want to cut down the length.
So I got one line down the middle, I got one line over here, and then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put some lines in here, and I'm probably going to put four rows, and those are going to be my main areas, and then I'll slide things in here at the end if I still want if I still want to. So I'm going to go four rows across, and uh, and then put in the lures. And don't forget, we also have this row here. I'm going to put two more on the end of that row. So, if we were going to be uh, nice and even and organized, it would seem like we would be able to get seven, 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 seven. Five times seven is 35. So we should be able to get 35 lures in here. Let's see if that's actually possible. Okay, so I love it when a great plan comes together. I've only done two rows, all right? And here's what's left in my Vexar container. So instead of these things being in the Vexar container, rubbing against each other, the paint's gonna chip off them, they're gonna get really uh, dingy and old looking really quick. I have got, uh, let's see here, over half, maybe three quarters of what I had in the Vexar in this right now and they're not going to be bumping at all with the exception of the treble hooks and uh, treble hooks are replaceable. Okay so I am at a unique spot where I already got rid of all the uh, lures that were in this Vexar container. It's taken up half the space in here but now what I got is these slab wraps, ripping wraps, um, chubby darters which is pretty easy. You just lay them down and then kind of the opposite of how you do the rest of it, you just dig the trebles in. Instead of doing anything with those, um, those cuts that I made, you're really just putting the trebles in and trying to give it enough space so they're not banging against anything when you're moving it around. All right. So there you go. Um, this, you know, this one right here has two rows of seven, and then I've got five uh, lures on that side. Now, um, that's how I would do it if I was using those slab wrap uh, bigger ones. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and just show you how many you can get in there, and uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. Okay, so I am uh, done packing this thing up, and I just want to show you real quick what it ends up looking like. And of course, you know, it's your decision how much you want to put in here. Um, for the sake of this, I really uh, got them in and stacked them up there. But I just wanted to show you how, um, if you can see, all those uh, treble hooks are the only thing that's hanging out. And they're really, uh, they're not all tangled up like they were before. But most importantly, everything is in nice and tight with this foam so that it's, uh, the paint is not chipping off each other and they're not all tied up every time you're gonna take something out. You don't have to go through untangling all your treble hooks um, to get it out. So, you know, this is a really small unit, compact unit, but you can really get in a lot of jigs. Um, now I'm gonna show you how I did the same thing with a little bit larger, more standard uh, box. Okay, so here's my box, and um, I've got a bunch of these smaller pieces, and basically all I was doing is uh, looking at how it would fit in here, and we had, a, it's pretty lucky that a lot of these are going to fit in, just the way that these are pulling apart, these are the perfect length. But if they weren't, what I would do is I would use that same box cutter, and I would just cut them so that they were a little bit more than what fits in there. You want it to be a little bit pressed in so that they don't move, it doesn't fall out uh, when you lift up the top. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut off these ends and then I'm going to uh, put this together. OK, 
day. So as you can see, um, <clears throat> I've got these all in now. They fit really well. I'm going to go ahead and use the fact that these are going the opposite way. Um, my first case, first two cases I made, I had enough material where I was able to go the long way. And then I just used this one line along with all these cuts to put these in. But in a sense, you know, you just kind of go with what you got. And so the material I had with these, uh, with this foam was these shorter sections. So I'm just going to go this way and uh, it doesn't hurt any. It's uh, no problem. We'll just do rows down this way. And so I'm probably going to put two rows for each um, column here and then see how much I can get in. Okay, so I'm finished with that, and as you can see, what I did is two rows of five in each of these columns, and of course there's a line dividing the, uh, the columns that uh, is also going to provide five, so really for each column you've got, you know, um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, oh, sorry, 60, 70, so 70 uh, lures that you could get in here. Okay, so uh, it was kind of painstaking, but um, once I got all done, and I'm not actually done, there's some more space down here, uh, but there's over uh, 90, I believe there's 93 jigs in this case right now. And, uh, you know, as you can see, trebles shake around and stuff like that, but these guys are all nice and snug, and they're not going anywhere. And when you pull them out, they're not going to fall out. They're nice and secure, and their paint isn't rubbing and scraping off. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or if you have any modifications you'd suggest, make sure to comment below. If you like this video, make sure to let me know that too. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to be safe on the ice. Say bye-bye, Manny. Bye-bye.